this isn't the video you were going to see. No, um, that's um, on there. by a canal we're pretty much in the middle of nowhere um, but there's plenty to watch as you can see there's barges going up and down there's um, a woman on some kind of motorized surfboard thing going up and down uh, sitting outside enjoying ourselves another motorhome over there uh, so this is actually a big turning circle for lorries it's a dead end there's the woman on there Right there. Yeah, so it's a big turning circle um, with a huge cycle path. So uh, there's plenty to do here. It's lovely, it's quiet, um, and it's free! <laughs> it's free, it's our favourite word, isn't it? Pippa's favourite word is dinner. And because it's six o'clock, she's decided it's her dinner. Pip! What time is it? Pip, what time is it? Uh, yeah, because I let her off. She's having a wee. Are you, babe? Are you having a wee? Where are you going? Go, come back. Don't disappear. Good morning and this is our last morning. We're on our way to the ferry terminal. We spent last in night in meters, turn right onto We spent last night in Watton. Uh, we had to park outside because it's a very popular air. Ooh, this is very, very bouncy. It's bouncy. Things are on the move, isn't it? Oh, right. Shouldn't be. So yeah, off to catch the ferry. <laughs> Don't want to go home. Do you want to go home? No. no. See, neither of us want to go home. Anyway, yeah. I'm going to put this down. We're going to use the proper yeah. camera because this is bouncing yeah, around. Hello, everyone. Uh, as you can see, we are back. We are at home. This isn't the video you were going to see. No, um that's um on there yeah that's uh, our external hard drive it it's broke yeah it died unfortunately after we had edited and rendered and created a video for you with the details of our trip on the last couple of days and the financial stuff yeah and all of my drone footage mm -hmm. yeah it's on there and it Pippa's butt kind of knocked it on the floor and it didn't come back to life. So how much was it going to cost to get all the uh, footage off? Yeah, we had a very uh, swift reply to get the footage off of a hard disk drive, should you drop it, £400. Yeah, it's not worth that. We've no. got it all uploaded onto YouTube anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So we're not overly no. worried, we'll just do it again. Yeah, so this is again. Two and a half thousand pounds, Wales to Greece and back again over a period of just under three months. Is it possible? Yes. Just about. Did we do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> we nearly did, but again, it was the uh, the floating box from hell, the ferry, Anic lines. That was 450 odd pounds worth of ferry trip. Had we done the drive, that would have been pretty much us on budget. Yeah. So, yeah... It's achievable, and then we're also mindful that fuel prices, they've changed as well. Now, everything's come down because we spent, I think it was almost a £1,000 on diesel. Yeah. 
and campsite fees, we realise now that we didn't have to, but at the time we were stuck, weren't we? Yeah. The relay wasn't working, we needed power, and certainly in Romania, it was cheaper to stop and use the campsite with the great facilities and use the washing machines. Mm -hmm. So, actual figures... Uh, you're going to be wanting to know. There will be a big drum roll. We're not going to tell you the total to the end. How many miles did we do? We did a total of 5,310 miles. Brilliant. 12 countries, 11 weeks. Um, I'll show you a zippy little map right now, showing you our complete route all around Europe. As you can see, we travelled all the way down using the Eastern European countries into Greece, then got the ferry from Greece to Italy, traveled up through Italy swiftly, um, through Austria, Germany, back up um, into Belgium. So as we said, the diesel spend, yeah, it was 1,061 pounds, 40 pence. So we averaged roughly, and we were happy with that, about 28 miles to the gallon. Yeah. And that was fairly flat, but lots of potholes. Yeah. We did go out of our way once, though, didn't we? We went to Poland. Yes. So, to be honest, that wasn't on our route. And I've got to say, there's little things here and there that if we hadn't done them, £2,500 would have been completely achievable. Yeah. Uh, food. Uh, cooked a lot in the van. Um, we ate out six or seven times, perhaps. Yeah, not, not a sort of major blowout, but, you know, pizzas, snacks... Dog-friendly places. Yeah. Really nice. Mainly we are in Bulgaria and Romania yeah. because they were some great prices. Anyway, um, our entire food spend for the complete trip was £911.70 and that also included the dog food. And the bakery. Yes, because somebody likes the bakery. If we'd not gone to the bakery as much, I reckon we'd just done the trip too. Site fees. Yeah, site fees, as we said, that was £157.88. In total for the whole trip? Yeah, so that wasn't too bad for 11 weeks. Mm. We could have done better, but the van did need a fix and we were suffering with lack of power. Once that was done, we just stayed off grid and we were finding countries that provided power, water and services absolutely free. Yeah. And then we also had the vet fees. We had the dog worm in, mm -hmm. which was amazing. That was £43.16 for both of them. Yeah. Which is what you need for the return journey, wasn't it? Yeah, you need to be have your dogs wormed. Uh, I think it's between five, and 24, five days and 24 hours before you're due to return to the UK. Um, we always end the trips in Belgium. Fantastic vet in Belgium. Um, I know a lot of you use her already. Uh, she also does pet passports. If you are interested, drop me a line in the comments and I will give you her details. The, the second vet was £37 for Dolly. She had a uh, urinary tract infection, which she gets. She's prone to that with the operation she had years ago. So that was £37. Great service. Yeah, which costs an awful lot more at home. Uh, we would have paid £100 and probably 130 140 pounds at home because they yeah. would have wanted they always insist on putting it in for the labs to check which isn't needed because we know what the situation is it's long standing um so we count that one as a win because that urine infection probably would have happened at home anyway because she has them an awful lot and uh yet yeah, solved for 37 quid and actually that was in March, April. That yeah, was in April. Been clear since. She hasn't had one since, um, mm. and we're in August now. So that is quite unheard of for Dolly. Yeah. So that was good. Yep. Uh, your favourite, your favourite thing that pushed us over budget, and um, we wish we hadn't done. Our biggest regret mm. of the trip. Go on. Pushed us over budget. Pushed me over the edge, <laughs> and I should have pushed the captain overboard. But let's not worry about that. Yeah, the ferry was £445.52. and p. Yeah. Wasn't worth every penny. No. Won't be doing it again. No. It saved us a bit of time, but it was an absolute cluster. Well, so, we um, tried it, didn't we? We well, did try it, but... We, we, we tried it. Even if everything would have gone seamlessly, we parked up. You can't take your dogs in the ship. The actual place where you can put your dogs, it's all in the video. Yeah, if, you, if you're interested to see why we were so unhappy... Uh, please pop back and have a look at our camping on board video and you can see 
um, what it would be like camping on board uh, with dogs yep. um, on a, what, it was about an 18-hour journey, wasn't yeah. it? Total spend. Our entire spend for the entire trip was... £2,876.93. Which means so we, we were... Go, we did go slightly over, didn't we? £376.93 pence over. Take so away the ferry um, trip to Poland that we hadn't really budgeted for. Um, the tolls through Italy, because we had to rush through Italy because of the floods. Yeah. Uh, if you're interested in seeing that video, pop back and have a look and see. We had to get out pretty fast. So there was a few things that went wrong which pushed us over budget. However... £2,500, completely doable, but our advice would be have a little contingency fund. Now, we obviously yeah. had a contingency fund. We did have one. Yeah, you need a just-in-case. Uh, yeah. But so, we reckon with the diesel, if we went to do everything again, it would be roughly 80 to £100 pound less mm. because the diesel prices have really come down, but down. So it would cost less if you were doing it now. Yeah, especially at the moment when... Money is getting tighter for absolutely everybody. And we know a lot of you who have followed us through this trip have been really, really interested to see, is this possible? And, you know, can you do a trip like this and still enjoy it, not feel like you're missing out? And I've got to say, we absolutely did not feel like we were missing out. What we would push to do was find places that probably we wouldn't have gone to before. Um, we found um, free park-ups. And of course, you look for free park ups and you find places that perhaps you wouldn't have gone to. Every country we went to, I think we've done every Lidl or Aldi across oh, I know. Europe, pretty I much. Know. Lidl need to sponsor us. We were often in the middle of Lidl looking in the, in the donuts and pastries. Yeah, I think I've been to about 20 different countries' Lidls. Um, yeah, and they're yeah, all. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> Very but, interesting. And they're all relatively. They're all slightly different. Different, but very budget... slightly different, but, but they're, they're also budget friendly, the same. Aren't they? Yeah, they, they are, are. They are. They actually. are budget friendly, and, and you, you can buy according to what you want. Yeah, we and... felt that little um, made our budget go slightly further than perhaps um, some of the other supermarkets. So uh, yeah, we we were happy. We get a lot of questions off you guys. Um, the main question we seem to be getting at at the moment is you you know that we're home and that you want to know what's next. And uh, don't worry, we have more stuff planned for you. Um, we're planning to go to Europe in about Novemberish time and we're going to hit the Christmas markets. So yeah. we're going to hit several Christmas markets across several um, European cities and uh, we just want to see, you know, to let you know, what ones are worth going to? What ones are the best? What Which one do we find? Enjoy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what had the best things to buy? Yeah. Um, so we're, we're off there. Yeah. Then next year it's going to be a biggie. Oh, but, I think... but we'll tell you about that in another, another vlog. We'll let you know what's coming next year. Don't want to give I away... I was going to tell them, but Don't you're want saying... to give away all the fun. Okay. I was that's mean. I was going to tell him, but obviously, I've yeah, I've been I've been overruled on that. We're not telling you. It's a secret. Uh, some of you know. I've told some of you already. <laughs> oh, not to worry. Yeah, but yeah. We're, we're still ongoing with the repairs on the van as well. Yeah. Some easy, some not so easy. But again, yeah. we'll, we'll do another vlog on that. Yeah, and cause... also, um, before then, we are also going to be doing some um, UK content. So there's going to be some budget slanted uk content uh because uh, you know how we like to save money so um we're going to help you save money if you happen to be traveling in the uk mm -hmm. and we must also say thank you to margaret she sent um a buy us a coffee but actually it's not buy us a coffee it's, it's not for us it's buy us a dog treat yeah um you know we often get questions asked about pippa and dolly we only added the link because Margaret had asked if she could buy the dogs a treat. So uh, should you want to buy the dogs a treat, the link is in the description, um, but it goes directly to the dogs. It's not for us. No, it's not for us. We can take care of the bakery ourselves, don't we? <laughs> we can, yeah. <laughs> don't worry about that. Um, so 
Uh, we want to thank each and every one of you who came along with us on this trip. Um, we've loved having you with us. We've loved your comments. We've loved your questions. We've really enjoyed it. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed it too. If you've got any questions about the trip, just drop us a line in the comments and ask us a question. Uh, we'll give you a shout out on our next video and we can answer your questions there. So um, I think that's us for this trip now, isn't it? I think so. Again, now, like I said, it's just really us picking up the pieces. We've had some new springs fitted, so we'll show you a little bit about that. Had a few issues with not working reversing lights, window steadies falling out. We've done a little bit of a revamp internally, but that's all to come. I can't give away everything now, can I? No. And here's a Red's Go top tip. If you go away on your trips and you put your snaps or videos or anything onto a hard disk drive don't use one of them use a solid state one yeah that's that's a whirly spinny one yeah a little disc in there and you can shake this it this is a solid state one so should pippa knock it on the floor or i drop it um it shouldn't damage it too much uh that one is knackered so there you go top tip for you cool. we'll see you next week um, when we are going to go through with you uh, what happened with our van when we got back because we had a few problems. You can probably see on the back, on the uh, right hand side, oops, that the van is sunk. And obviously we had no idea otherwise we would have never taken it to Europe and driven it three months over Eastern European roads. See the cupboards over here, more down here, there, 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 there. The floor, it's um, 